How's it going everyone? The public beta of iOS 26 is officially released and in this video let's go ahead and go over the noticeable changes and the new features that Apple integrated for Apple CarPlay. So of course I'll be sure to include timestamps of everything in the video description down below for your pleasure. Let's begin with the new noticeable change and that is primarily the widget page. As depending on the type of vehicle you have, but if you have like a single double DIN style instrument screen on your vehicle, you'll be likely to have one or two widgets if you're lucky. But from here you have access to literally the weather report as well as the media that's currently playing. It has like this nice fade effect. And then if you have like a classy interior vehicle, you can always select the default clock to give your vehicle a nice elegant appeal. Now, even though it may seem like it's not customizable, it's customizable, but it requires you to use your iPhone. To customize this, go to your settings on your iPhone, go into the general tab, and in here, look for CarPlay. Select CarPlay, and then select on the vehicle that you're connected to. So my Cadillac, select the widget page, and from here, go to add widget, and you'll discover you're, there's quite a few widgets you can select from. Everything from battery life stats, even third-party apps. One of the most powerful one you could add is probably ChatGPT or any other AI platform. This way you can have powerful tools like AI integrated on Apple CarPlay and you just switch to the widget page once you add it. Really nifty stuff. Now another new massive change can be located actually in your Apple Maps app. In Apple Maps, you now have the ability to actually zoom in and zoom out by just simply using pinch gestures. Now, unfortunately, it's only selected on some vehicles, but over time, I'm sure more and more automakers will be make it compatible. But as of right now, it was working fine with my Ford vehicles. Right now, we're using a general motor vehicle, so we do not have the pinch and zoom functionality, but you may find that your vehicle may have it, and yours may have it later on down the future beta updates or the official release. But one thing that they get added for everybody else is the reports. Well, if you tap the report whenever there's like an incident on the road, you'll discover you have more additional options like road closures as well as hazards. Now, Apple Music actually received a massive overhaul because now it actually features auto mix. And if you like to disable the auto mix ability, just tap on the little Q right here. You can literally, literally disable it right here if you like. And the auto play would just allow your current playlist queue to constantly be filled up with a new track that you may end up liking based off Apple intelligence, of course. But that's how you can enable auto mix if you don't like that DJ transition from the next track, which works really well. It matches the tone of the current track that's playing with the upcoming one. So very similar to like a DJ, it'll automatically make that nice smooth transition. I highly recommend checking that out. But exiting out of here, another thing they added is filters. You see, not only is the layout for your like Apple Music homepage is totally overhauled, it looks very similar to like how it is. All the options we have on our iPhone is now on Apple CarPlay. But when you select like, let's go on our playlist as an example. If you like to filter things up, you can just tap on it right here. You can filter up your filter settings that you have available. So like favorites or all playlists. So that's kind of neat. The liquid glass also got redesigned here as well because if we select like the now playing tab and hit play as you see it does like a cool little bounce animation now so a little tweak that i noticed that what apple want, improved what? right here additionally you may have noticed in my library section i have some pin albums playlists and songs here and this is a new feature you could do finally on ios 26 you see if we launch the music app on our main device on our iphone if you long press on your library tab you have the ability to actually unpin or pin a playlist from here so if you're listening to a song you can either search it up or just long press on like one of these albums as an example on the very bottom you'll see pin album and it'll automatically be added in real time like that so a quicker method to get access to your library instead of having to like go down here and actually like look through all these different categories or, or go all the way to the very bottom. So it's definitely a nice little pleasant tool Apple gave us. Now one of the most exciting features of this beta update for CarPlay is if we go into our settings and we scroll down to wallpapers, here you'll discover we got new wallpapers finally. So we have more additional options to choose from like this layout, like the latest new one that Apple gave us. But now we have other color sources to choose from. However, if you look closely, unfortunately, uh, we also lost them. Now we lost some previous OS CarPlay wallpapers and it looks like it's just been replaced with this design. We just have 
additional colors to choose from unfortunately but i wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be the one that's going to be released once the official version of ios 26 is officially out but i personally still enjoy the first one just due to the fact it features two different shades of colors and then another amazing option can be located right here in customize icons because now we finally have the ability to switch between clear dark as well as the default one and i gotta be honest i think the default still looks much better but clear depending on your interior as well as personal preference it may look pretty good in some cars like this one as an example but i think it's too clear in my opinion i don't know let me know in the comment section what do you think about these new clear icons and then when it comes to notifications if you ever receive an incoming call it no longer will take up the entire screen so if you have navigation running it doesn't do that anymore but you can also tap on it right here to reverse back to the full page whenever an incoming call is coming in in addition to that you also have additional response right here as well in case you can't answer a call now, if a message is uh, somebody's texting you as an example, you could now reply with a tap reaction if you like something or dislike something. And real quick, just like to thank today's video sponsor, and that is you guys, the viewers. Yes, you guys. Thank you so much for continuing supporting the channel by simply hitting the like button and like. Those truly help out a lot as those let this channel be powered by you guys, the viewers, not brands. So you, this is why you don't see like a sponsorship segment taking like a minute or two off your time. It also makes everybody's viewing experience much better as well. So thank you so much. Let's resume. Now, earlier I mentioned you need to have a smart screen smart zoom enable to utilize two widgets that's easy to do because all you need to go in to do is go into your settings and go into the display tab and right here enable smart zoom it'll go black for a few seconds and it'll go back but notice how everything is like nicely organized it like fits better on your screen this way it's able to adapt to every vehicle's unique but in our widget tab we still have the uh single widget unfortunately earlier there was a time on beta one for the developer beta we did have two at one point there's a chance that apple could re-add it other things you can find in the settings i got newly added if we exit out of here and we go into live activities this is where you can enable live activities so if you were on your main page right here a little live activity will pop up right there especially useful if you're tracking your friend's flight and you're basically going there to pick them up. So one of the new updates is not only the new updated UI enhancement, but now you'll notice there's some animations now on your live activity or series suggestions. And now you have the ability to actually long code and clear dismiss like alarms and settings or even active activities at the pop up on the bottom right here. So that's a new little tool right there. Now another app that received a cool update is the podcast app. Not only does it give you more options than there before, but if we select a podcast as an example, we now have a new UI speed where you can actually change the speed of the podcast rate just by simply doing that. And then when it comes to taking screenshots, you may discover that if you like to take a screenshot on your Apple CarPlay, it no longer captures the entire screen. That's because you have to manually go in and enable it. So to help you get started, go on your iPhone settings on the main page right here, scroll down and back into general and look for screen capture in here so you'll discover the carplay screenshot tab and just enable that now whenever you take a screenshot it will capture both the main display on your iphone as well as apple carplay and then of course depending on your phone but if your phone supports it you do have the new liquid glass on some of these icons especially on your app icons as well and then although we haven't received it yet but in the near future maybe beta 2 of the public beta or beta 4 for the developer beta it's likely we are expected to finally have the ability to airplay media that we're streaming on our iphone to your vehicle display while your vehicle is in park this means you can now finally be able to watch youtube videos hulu or videos in general that you're watching on your phone to be streamed on your main carplay unit so that's definitely a nice feature that's coming out in the near future again only mandate is your vehicle is required to be in park which is quite nice so, and then lastly if you hooked up your iphone to apple carplay the new carplay screen has been tweaked as the carplay logo is smaller and now has a larger carplay text underneath as well a nice subtle change that's at least worth covering but there you guys have it those are all the new changes and new features that apple integrated on apple carplay pretty awesome i like the widget support looks really well this new ui change not massive but 
still definitely is much appreciated, especially finally having the ability to have the actual current weather listed right there on CarPlay. I'm just hoping uh, for double dins like this vehicle right here, we actually can put two widgets, not just one, or have the ability to customize how many widgets we want at once. I think that'll be pretty cool. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. But real quick, if you wish to watch more, I highly recommend checking out that video over there where I highlight all the new changes and new things that they added for the public beta for the Apple Watch. Thank you so much for watching.